Okay guys, hi, it's uh, Masterless here, and I'm bringing you the first episode from Ark Survival Evolved um, streaming. I uh, decided to give streaming a go, as I've spent probably uh, quite some time now watching other people stream. Um, I've been really impressed with some of the videos out there, and like I've sort of said in my um, sort of brief description, that it much beats talking to yourself if you're actually sort of, you know, I guess, um, helping people with it as well. Um, so, yeah. Um, Let's get started and in the first episode we're going to really cover off some of the uh, the basics that you could do with really quickly getting into when you start a new game um, in Ark Survival Evolved. Of course, you know, things like making sure that you gather the right things to make yourself safe at first, get a, um, a base created, know which sort of dinosaurs to look out for, um, and just a few tips really around some of the uh, keystrokes and things that you can do to give you a um, pretty good start. So in order to do this we're going to create a new survivor. Um, choose a random region. Um, let's get the west same one. Um, actually, no, let's switch it up a bit and let's go for east same two. Okay, so obviously once you created your character, sorted out all the you know specking them out and whatnot, um, you can then create the new survivor um, and get thrown into the world of Ark. So obviously, when you first start the game, um, you start with nothing except some pants. <laughs> okay, uh, or that can happen, <laughs> and yeah, as you can see, there's, there's, uh, sometimes you can just start a new game in Ark and literally have no chance of surviving, as you've just seen there, uh, with me being absolutely savaged by uh, Titan Boa. So let's um, let's try this again. No, my luck, you know, the same thing will probably happen straight away again. So. Oh, it actually has. No, oh, this time it's a good one. Okay, so this is Okay, so... <laughs> Potentially the, uh, the worst start to stream ever. Uh, <laughs> let's go for... ESO 2, create new survivor. Okay, take three, guys. Take three. Here we go. In fact, let's change the name from Bob. I feel as though Bob's been quite an unlucky name so far. Um, so let's go for something a bit more obvious, like Lucky. Um, and let's see how this goes. Oh, now I've spawned in the north zone. Oh, no, man. That's going to be with the snow. Could have just spawned straight in the snow by it. No, no, Lucky. You got away with it. You got away with it. Okay. Okay, so here we go. So, just starting out um, can be quite daunting for someone that just starts playing Ark, seeing as you know there's no tutorial, you don't necessarily know what to do or where to go, or um, <laughs> much at all really. So yeah, some of the basics. So, first thing that you're going to want to do is to start getting these berry bushes here. Um, it's worth noting that I've actually upped the gather rates just for the purposes of this, um, just to get us to like a basic sort of set of thatch building. Um, so fibre and berries are initially what you're looking for. Um, berries are really useful because they sort of give you both um, hunger and water and reduce those. So uh, for those again, for those of you who don't know, um, if you ever want to sort of add or get rid of the um, FPS shown on the screen, you can click the tab button on your keyboard, brings up the console and type in stat space FPS which brings the FPS up for you. I mean, mine's around 30, which, you know, it's not ideal, but hey, um, just to make the best of it, and um, switch that off. Icons that you've got on the bottom right-hand side of the screen there, um, where you can sort of see the flashing plus symbol at the top, um, that indicates how close you are to reaching the next level. Um, directly below that, you've got your weight, and the light blue being how much stuff that you've sort of carrying on you before it fills up the actual weight, which happens when the full picture gets coloured in. Uh, then you've got thirst below that, hunger below that, energy levels below that, and then health at the bottom right. Um, okay, so just some of the sort of uh, basic things for you to get used to. Um, pressing I opens up the inventory for you, um, which is where you can obviously have a look at um, obviously you know what you're carrying at the moment. You can associate things to quick item slots. So, I mean, for example, here if we drag um, these berries down into the quick item slots. We can now use these by pressing either 0, 9 or 8 corresponding buttons on the keyboards. So one of each there. And as you can see my food and water over here just went up slightly. 
Um, a lot of people ask sort of what are the best specs to um, put points into when you start arc and start leveling up. Um, I probably would recommend um, weight and potentially some um, movement speed initially. Stamina can also be a pretty good one. Um, but we're going to go for weight just to make sure we can carry a few more things. Um, this brings us to one of the engram screens. Um, and you get these every time you level up. And it's basically how you go about learning new things that you can create um, in Arc. Good starting point is usually um, a hatchet and also a spear, um, so that you can at least now you know defend yourself and start building things. Um, engrams are effective, as we said, skills. And you can see that once I've sort of put points into the engrams by using that link, if I go into the craftables link now, I can see um, what I've just selected. So. We already had the stone pick and the torch, I've now got the hatchet and the spear as well. Um, and you can also see the crafting requirements there um, in terms of the materials that you need to make each one. So we're going to start off by getting a hatchet and a stone pick. Um, so I mean back to the screen now. So what can you do? Okay the parasaur is running away from something. Um, it looks pretty bloody as well so not quite sure what he could have just been attacked by but definitely worth us watching out. Um, so, punching a tree, um, yeah, that's right, punching a tree, get your materials to maybe to build some of the tools to start out with. So, we've got some thatch and some wood from that now. Um, also, you'll see, sort of see stones on the floor, um, just like you can the berry bushes. And again, for those of you that are new to the game, if you walk up to these and press and hold E on the bushes, that gathers the bush for you. And also, if you press E as you run over the stones, you can pick those up as well. Um, I've now got a bit of wood, a bit of thatch, a bit of fibre and a bit of stone, so hopefully I can start crafting a few things. Um, yep, here comes a stone pick. One stone, one wood, ten thatch. So you're going to create this now, wait for that to build. It should then pop over into the inventory here, and then we can drag it to an associated slot down here, um, which is the number two in the quick item slot. So now pressing number two on the keyboard brings up that for me. Uh, put it away, pick it up. Um, I can either press number 2 both times to do this, so 2 gets it out, 2 puts it away, or at any point when you've got something out, you can press Q on the keyboard, and that sort of holsters whatever the weapon is that you've got out at the time, so to speak. Um, once I've got the pick, you can now use this on stone. Um, pick sort of specialises in flint, so you do get a little bit of stone as well. Um, and if I walk over to back to this tree, um, you'll also see that you can get me wood and thatch as well from trees. Um, can't use it on these other stones, um, but you can also use it to attack dinos. Um, however, note that when you are mining things, so uh, if I just quickly run over here and start mining the stone for a while, you see my energy going down towards the bottom right of the screen there, that sort of lightning bolt is becoming a bit empty. Um, when I stop chopping and to let that stamina recover, that stamina recovery then drains my uh, food and thirst. So you can see there the food sort of about approaching a third of the way down. Um, when that turns light blue, by the way, so you can see at the moment how it's a slightly different blue colour uh, to the other icons, if you actually press Z on the keyboard, uh, that's right, you defecate. Um, there's some nice sort of uh, plastic looking feces there. In fact, it looks sort of like one of those joke turds that you can get from joke shops sometimes to, uh, to wind people up with. Um, believe it or not, feces do have their use in this game as well. It won't be until later on really that you need that. Um, unless you sort of plan on picking it up, mapping it to a hotkey and pressing that hotkey to throw it at someone, like that tree low over there. So, yeah, that's that. Um, okay, so we've got a few more materials now. I can now also craft a hatchet, can get myself a spear as well, um, and a torch. Down now, all we'll drop into my inventory. So, there we go. Hatchet, spear, and um, stick with torch maybe in number five. Get rid of the poop. Uh, okay, so there goes the torch. Um, also, it's worth noting that sometimes when you're sort of wondering about the place, gathering objects, um, that it is possible for you to um, become over encumbered, um, which you'll see in a second. So, underneath my flashing plus level sign there on the right uh, is my weight. And as I start to chop this, you should see now that, that it's full up and it gets to the point where. You can't move. You sort of go Baywatch style. Um, yeah, so uh, when this happens and you're running all slow and you're encumbered, you can open up your inventory. 
Um, and now you can either sort of click on the individual stacks and choose drop item. Could choose drop all items, so they wouldn't advise that. Um, you can also um, halve them or sort of take individual pieces out of the stack. So now if I hold control key down and drag, I actually drag one of the item um, away from the stack. Um, so yeah, as you can see I just dragged the thatch from there to there, excuse me, a bit of lag there folks. Um, you can also hold down the shift key and drag, which will remove five, and um, sorry, which will remove half of the item. Um, or you can hold shift and double click, which will usually then place five into whatever you're looking at if you're looking at a container. Um, if you hover over an object and press O on the keyboard, that actually drops the item. As you can see in front of the screen now, I've just sort of dumped in a little package on the floor. Um, sometimes initially it's good to maybe half some of the piles that you've got and then drop one of the pile objects. And like I've just done there. Um, not looking, I mean, too bad, but it is worth noting as well that berries also do weigh um, and quickly add to the sort of um, the limits that you've got as well, which isn't ideal. Um, now that we've got the hatchet and the spear, um, just conscious that you know we're going to get hungry and thirsty, so if we unlock a campfire and a water skin, that takes care of food and water, and get started with some of the um, armor options as well. That will give us a bit of protection. So let's see if we can already um, craft some of the armor. And we can get a cloth shirt, cloth pants, um, cloth gloves need some more hide, oh, actually need some hide. And water skin also is hide. So um, hide you actually get off animals um, and killing animals. So in order for us to do that, let's just craft another uh, couple of spears. Um, spears can break, so unlike pikes that you get a bit later on in the game, it's always good to have maybe you know two, three spears on you just in case one of them breaks. And you can also throw them, uh, and if you miss what you're throwing at as well, you can run over and get the spear back. So if I take a spear out, for example, throw it at that rock. Um, I should if I could reach that, <laughs> which I can't, and be able to get that spear back again. Let's go for a bit lower. So that's one and consumed and added you can see at the top just there so now I've got a spear and um, in order to get some hide uh, let's just go for a quick tour um, around the island see what we can find and um, just need a sort of dino that I can kill and um, something relatively small and, and easy at this point point. and now because at the start of the game obviously you haven't got the greatest armor in the world um, and obviously you know not really any weapons you do want to stay clear of some dinos, which you, you'll find that you don't really worry about later on in the game. Uh, you know, raptors are potentially one um, danger at this stage. Uh, it kind of sucks that I can't find any dinosaurs around here at the minute. Um, let's just keep following this round, see what we can find. And it is worth noting as well that you can hold shift down to sprint on your keyboard. So if I walk normally now, hold shift, walk normally. Old shift. It does speed it up, but massively drains your stamina, um, and also means that you need um, food and water more as well from using that. Great, yeah. <laughs> Cheers for that, man. Um, and then walk along the beach. So here's a dilo. Should be a good first kill. Uh, get a bit of hide. Okay, two dilos. Um, these guys can blind you if you're not careful. So yeah, as you can see, they spit that. Crap that you are. Uh, we're gonna take this guy out. Backwards, maybe whilst jabbing the spear is actually a good strategy a lot of the time against dinosaurs. So, as you can see, just what we want to do is keep moving. And uh, now these are taken out, you can either jab them with the spear um, to get um, hide and meat, or you can use the pick or the hatchet as well. Um, so, if I use the hatchet on that one, 8 hide, 7 meat, 13 hide, 7 meat. So, now I've got a little bit of hide. Ah, oh, that turtle made me jump then. Um, these guys, uh, despite how uh, soft looking or sort of uh, non-dangerous they are, they're pretty tanky, so you want to be careful if you ever uh, aggro one of these things, because uh, they can take some um, serious beating down in the early levels, as we are now. So as you can see at the top, got another level up there. So, I mean, the aim really and what we're aiming to do here is to get some, um, obviously get us some armor in place, get us um, just a very basic structure with a campfire to cook meat on, keep us hungry, um, go for the water skin and the gloves as well, get some of these being manufactured. Um, I've also got more level up points, so let's get some more going into weight, let's get the rest. 
of this armor set as well. And what the um, what we want to do next is actually get us some structures in place and um, some thatch, just so that you know we can start building little basic huts to keep us. Um, I say to keep us safe. Um, thatch structures aren't the best to keep you safe, but they do give you some real basic cover um, at the start of the game. So. I'm going to work towards that now and um, gather some resources to do for uh, um, another level up. And the cool um, thing that I learned recently as well is that when you open your inventory and you've got your um, panel open um, with obviously some of the quick item slots here which you've got berries in, um, you can actually um, hold the keys down and eat all of the berries at once which helps boost food and water a bit quicker than if you're having to keep, you know, jabbing the keys. Um, let's put the rest of the armour on. Get some water skin going. Um, and then also, uh, what do we need? What do we need? What do we need? Feet, head. Okay, so you can now see we are almost fully clothed. And um, we get 10 armor from each of these items of clothing, which isn't great, but better than actually running around in my pants still. So it's all good. Um, and here we are. So obviously what we want to now do is get a, um, a thatch structure building by leveling up. Um, we could also do with eating something soon as well, so that's also going to be worth um, looking into. So in a campfire. Some points here now. And let's get some thatch going. So foundation, wall, door frame for now. Uh, we've already got, I think, some of the uh, materials required for this, so I should be able to start building thatch already. Uh, now, building is actually a great way of leveling up um, early in the game, when you can't really kill too much and gathering resources you know, isn't the quickest. So, for example, if I open up my inventory now um, and craft a few thatch foundations, you'll notice that the XP bar here um, should sort of go up fairly quickly. So, let's go for four of the thatch foundations. And um, see this sort of creep up as they get built. Yeah, so there's one. So not too bad. You know, obviously you get a few of these made. Um, and it goes a long way to leveling up in the early stages. I'm level six at the moment with Lucky, and fully clothed. So <laughs> a lot better than the first two lives where I got insta killed pretty much both times, uh, which you all had the pleasure of seeing as well. So hey, way to embarrass me on my first Ark streamer. Um, so, uh, thatch built now. Now, what you can do is if you're ever in a situation where you want to build things, um, you can dra um, click and drag whichever item it is that you want to build down into the hotkey slots. Um, so this is number six now with thatch foundation, and when I press six on the keyboard, it now gives me the ability to build. So here we have um, a thatch foundation. My weight's still pretty high though, so it looks like there's something weighing me down still. Um, yeah, the stone's not doing me any favours, neither is that wood. Drop the wood, drop the stone. Let's just focus on thatch for now, which is mainly fibre. Um, fibre and thatch from the trees. So because I need fibre, just pick a few more of the berry bushes. And yeah, get some fibre action going here. As you can see, I mean, harvesting rates are massively up on, on the server, um, just to get me to... Um, just to get me to a situation where I can get this sort of new base built. And there are the four thatch foundations we put down earlier, so we're going to get some walls now going in place. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one door frame as well. I'm going to need some roofs at some point. I mean, I haven't unlocked those yet, they're um, coming up next once I have um, leveled up again. Campfire, I can get to, so. Let's just go to the campfire uh, now. And what do I need for that? Okay, I need some of the stone that I just threw away. Okay, so there you go. So if I now go into craftables um, and get a campfire going, craft that item. Campfire will be coming right up after the wall and the door frame. Um, actually, on which note, let's get putting those down as well. So let's get some walls down here. Door frame. Get my door frame off. Okay, so very basic um, 4x4 that house here. No ceiling on yet. I mean, funny enough, that's it's not 
too um, it's not too vital um, if you, you know, sort of go a couple of levels without a ceiling while you start building you know, storage chests potentially and collecting some materials as well to stockpile them. Um, thatch is like really bad protection though, um, especially in PvP, on PvP servers, but I mean also if you get aggroed by a wild dino and run back into your thatch house, um, it's not going to last very long. I mean, you know, let's see, uh, so you've got 1,600 hit points on the wall. Um, punching that 1597, spearing it. So as you can see, I mean, it does it does go down. Um, let's see, am I close to leveling up yet? Uh, I'm kinda. Um, let's just build a torch and place my campfire down. So just gonna put the campfire uh, just outside the front door here. Um, now obviously I'm not hungry at the moment because I ate all those berries earlier on but I do still have some of the raw meat left over from when I took out those two dilos. So I'm just going to really show you now um, obviously what you can do um, when you've got meat to get rid of some of the hunger when you start getting hungry. So what I'm going to do now and it does tell you on the screen anyway you can see there it's got E access inventory um, inventory. So I'll press E and it opens that up for me and you can also press F quickly and to open things up and that's mainly handy for when you've tamed a dino because when you're riding a dino, say I was on this guy over here um, I could press F whilst riding the dino and it would open up the dino's inventory for me um, which is you know, much quicker than having to hold down E a lot of the time another level up as well which is cool so we should now be able to build uh, roofs get a roof on this thing um, get me a little bit of protection again um, again note the stamina going up um, but the food and the water going down slightly as well um, oh looks like we've got a uh, looks like we've got a dolphin playing with um, playing with a turtle in the sea there and a couple of dolphins absolutely no idea what those guys are doing <laughs> um, <laughs> Okay, back over here to our little hut. Um, back to the fire. So press F or E, open the inventory, uh, drop some wood in here. Um, oh, that, that's an example of uh, what I mentioned earlier, by the way. So when you're actually looking at something that you can place objects into, like we can with the fire here, you can double click an object or shift one of them across, or you can hold shift and double click, and that will move five of them across. Or alternatively, just hold shift while you click and drag and you just move half the stack across as well, so 17 wood in there now. 20 meat, 20 meat, light the fire, and hey presto, man have fire. So yeah, there we go, now what's going to happen is that raw meat's going to turn into cooked meat as time goes by, um, which we can eat to get rid of, uh, or to fill up some of our hunger there. Um, so we've got another 9 angle points now we can put into things, so I'm going to go with a thatch roof, a thatch door, um, and it looks like that's it for now. Oh yeah, and a sleeping bag. So these guys, these suckers, sleeping bags, so important when you first start out in Ark, um, mainly because um, when you die. Now I know how I don't say if you die. Ark survival is definitely a case of when you die. There is always the first time that you will die. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if it was from bugs as well, which is again another reason why it's so cool. Um, a really good idea to get a thatched little house built roofed um, so that you are safe from any insects that come. I'll see if I can find some insects for you in a bit. Just get a roof on this thing first of all. And I'm also just get a bit more fiber as well. Um, right over here. Okay. So now we should be good. Make a few more ceilings for the little hut. So go back over to the hut. Um, inventory. Craft some thatch roofs. Get myself a door for the front. Get myself a sleeping bag. Um, yeah, okay, that's looking pretty good so far. Um, could probably do with a couple of more spears as well. Give me a bit more protection. Um, let's just quickly move in here before I'm encumbered. Um, get the roof put down. Ok, 
Okay, there we go. So, thatch roof is now on. Um, I have a uh, doorless house currently, so let's just do something about that. Get a thatch door, put it on. A bit of lag again, folks. Um, and there we go. Very, very basic um, hatch hut. Open the door, pop outside. Um, oh yeah, it's, it's also pretty um, worth noting as well that when you've built a door or when you have a container that sort of, you know, opens and closes, you can, um, you can set pin codes and lock this, um, which is mainly obviously of use when, again, you're on like um, a server with other people. You don't want them to just be able to stroll up to your thatch house and open the door, go inside and you know, grab all of the objects and the materials that you've, where it's pretty hard to get. So again, you can hover over the door. Um, by default, they're locked. So right now, if someone from another tribe wouldn't be able to just walk over here and, and get in. Um, but it's also worth noting as well that you can set pin codes on the door. Um, and that's really handy for when you're in a situation where you're in a tribe that's allied to another tribe and you don't want these guys getting in. Um, you can pin code it. Um, I mean, it's also actually quite handy on a server where, say you've like just met another player on the server, um, and you don't know them, and you live near them, and you know, you, they seem pretty cool, you're getting on with them, but you don't want them grabbing all your stuff, even though you are getting on with them quite well. Um, setting a pin code on your things can be good, so that if you say, you know, oh hey, you can crash over at my base if you ever need to, um, but you don't want them going in certain containers in your base, you can just set a pin code on those containers but leave your front door unlocked for example, um, or give them the pin code to your front door but not give them the, the pin code to your containers too, so again that's, um, I suppose that's worth noting now. Almost got another level now, so I'm just going to chop down another tree and see if I can force myself to level up. Um, I really want a storage crate, um, let's just drop some of this stuff. Oh yeah, I could put my sleeping bag down too, I suppose. Uh, another Baywatch run back to the thatch house. Oh, come on. Right, back over to the door. I'm just going to pop a sleeping bag down on the floor now. And I may deliberately die as well I'll for you in a little bit, just to show you why I've put the sleeping bag down. Okay, so shut the door. Fire's going. Check this now. We should have some cooked meat. Yep. There we go, cooked meat and spoiled meat and charcoal. Um, again, all of which do have uses in the game. I'm going to drag some of this cooked meat into the bar, take a couple of bites, and get the torch. Oh, okay. Kind of made two torches accidentally there. Excuse me, folks. Um, yeah, let's pop these on me as well, just in case. And the majors. Um, okay, so obviously, yeah, now we're in a position where we've got a very basic thatch hut, got a fire going, uh, you know how to harvest some resources, how to access your inventory, um, you know how when you level up you can click this button here, which will take you to the place where you unlock skills and um, items that you can do, um, sorry, create, you know how to pick up and drop things, harvest bushes, harvest resources, and remember if you end up ever in a position where you don't have any tools, you can. Um, <coughs> You can punch trees, get thatch and wood out of them, which does damage your health a little bit. So you know, just be careful when um, when feeling the need to kick off on tens of trees. You could die death by tree. So uh, yeah, um, trust me when you're on a public server. If anyone sees you get killed by punching a tree, it's uh, definitely not the most dignifying way to go. So um, yeah, maybe just bear that in mind. Um, so here we are. Uh, level 7, basic thatch shut down, basic tools, um, looking at the engrams that are coming up. Um, you're starting now to get into the territory of um, a slingshot, which is pretty good for uh, long range shooting and dinos and knocking them out. And um, basic storage box and bed as well. So really a bed does exactly the same thing as a sleeping bag, except you can only use a sleeping bag once. So that sleeping bag I just put down in the thatch hut, um, if I died now and spawned back from the sleeping bag, that sleeping bag would be gone um, and I'd have to make another one. So beds, however, they just sort of stay forever until destroyed or until you, you know, get rid of them. Um, let's level up uh, one more time uh, and build a slingshot uh, and see if we can knock out a dino and just show you the basics around how you can start taming something. Uh, well, we'll do either a herbivore or a carnivore, just whichever. Shall we get some fun first?
Oh, my God.